Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Bombay Glassware 2 by Insanity Samples. Bombay Glassware 2 is an outgrowth of the concept from the original Bombay Glassware Library. With fresh sample material and multiple articulations to choose from, Bombay Glassware 2 is a specialized library with lots of character for those looking to include the beautiful and haunting sound of glass in their work. Bombay Glassware 2 requires the full version of Contact 5.8.1 or above. It includes six articulations with 10 round robin repeats and four velocity layers. Bombay Glassware 2 downloads as less than one gigabyte and is available from Insanity Samples for 49 euros. At time of review, Bombay Glassware 2 was available for the introductory price of 24.95 euros. This is a boutique and specialized library that's really geared towards adding character and just very, uh, very unique flavor to your tracks and your underscore. This is not a library you're necessarily going to pull out every day, but it's one of those you'll be really glad to have it when you need it. Um, this is especially going to come in handy, I think, for things like tension tracks, um, fragile tracks in which you need to have kind of a bell-like quality. Maybe you don't want to go for the normal mallets and xylophone and that kind of thing. This gives you a really neat, uh, a really unique flavor in that same kind of vein. So we're going to check out everything today. Just quickly on the interface, you're going to see six different articulations. The key switches are really unique in Bombay Glassware 2, and I like the way they're set up. The key switches are actually on-off switches, so that means you can layer each of the six articulations together. You can put them all together. You can layer two of them, three of them, whatever. So you can get some really unique sounds doing that. So let's go through each of the articulations by themselves, and then we'll do some layering, and then we'll go a little bit into the engine and explain how that works. So let's start with hits and mallets. Um, and just to quickly mention, the blue keys are actually where the original samples reside. And then the green keys obviously are the extended versions. So not where they were sampled, but have been extended to, you know, extend the playable range. And the red keys, of course, are the key switches we mentioned earlier. So hits and mallets. Really beautiful and fragile. Let's move along to hits, mallets, reversed. One of the things I really like about that sound, that is really good for transitions, um, especially in tension tracks or, you know, those kind of dramatic, gentle tension, gentle, dramatic tracks. Those make some really great transitions, you know, on that fourth or eighth or 16th bar. All right, let's go ahead and move along to finger bows. And I was accidentally on the arpeggiator page. Fortunately, I had it off, <laughs> but just going back to the main page so that you can see that. And we'll go into this a little bit later. 
Let's go to horse bows. Really, really unusual and unique sounds. Um, you know, the the glassware, the way it's been struck, the way it's been bowed, just gives it a really haunting sound. You know, you can see with the hits and mallets, obviously, those are, you know, the glasses being struck. Um, and of course, those sounds being reversed. But then you get into these bowed articulations, which I think are so interesting, um, you know, where they're actually putting, they're bowing the glass itself. And, you know, in the case of here in a moment, when we get to the ricochet horse bow, you'll even hear that they've put rosin on the glass itself in addition to the bow. So you get this really interesting texture. So let's move along to horse short bows. Really interesting sound. And finally, Ricochet Horsebow. Oh, I love that. If you hold out that sustain, listen to that again. The overtones. That is so, so cool. Oh, those harmonics that come in. Um, one of the really cool things that they've done with Bombay, Gla Bombay Glassware 2 is it has a plethora of round robins. There are actually 10 round robins and four velocity layers here. So you've just got a ton of you know, an organic feel. You're not going to get that robot effect. You're not going to have to worry about a sound that doesn't sound alive. I mean, you can tell this, these sound <laughs> like they're being played in front of you. That's just so cool. Okay, let's combine an articulation or two. Um, you can see that the volume control is on each of these. So you have full control, you know, when you do layer these of what the volume is going to look like. So I'm going to put the hits and mallets kind of up and we're going to leave that ricochet on, but maybe turn it down a little bit and just kind of have an aftertouch of reversed. So I'm going to add those on and let's see what this sounds like. That layered sound. I really, really love that. Um, let's play a little bit with the engine with that sound. I really like that sound. You can, of course, you've got your ADSR, you've got delay, you've got reverb, and you can change, you know, the kind of reverb here. We've got it on super verb right now. You can change the kind of reverb um, and you have a filter cut off in resonance. So let's, let's just do something crazy here. Let's put, I don't know, let's put maybe maybe a quarter note and turn up the delay halfway on the feedback and let's mix the reverb in pretty hot and heavy and let's see what we get. Cause I can imagine these overtones with some big reverb will sound really cool. I mean, 
that is big sounding. I really like that. <laughs> Let's try that again in, in the right key. I was playing one key with my left hand and another with my right. Oh, I love that layered sound because you get the strike of the mallet, but you, then you get that resonance from the ricochet horse bow and the reversed coming in. I love that. Let's do one more layer experiment before we move along. Um, how about we do, let's keep the mallets, the, the hits, and then let's take off the ricochet horse bow and maybe put in the finger bows. And how about the horse bows? So, so cool and full of character, just full of character. Really love that. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to take off the finger bows and the horse bows. Let's go through the engine a little bit. So we've talked about the main page. You also have obviously a step sequencer, but the unique thing about the step sequencer in Bombay Glassware 2 is that you actually get six patterns. So essentially what that means is you can actually just get some craziness going on here because instead of just a single step sequencer that controls your sound, you can actually layer these step sequencers to create polyrhythms, just all sorts of things. You have pitch control, so you can actually create a sequenced, you know, a, a pitch sequence in addition to velocity controls. Um, the bottom part here, this is just simply showing you where the downbeat is at. So this is not interactive. It's just simply there for your reference. Let's leave this with 16 steps. I don't know. Let's just do something a little crazy. I'm not sure how this is going to sound. It might sound completely horrible. That's okay. Like Bob Ross said, we're just going to have a happy little accident here, right? Um, so... I don't know. Let's try that. And then for velocity, um, you know what? Let's just do something, something somewhat expected. We'll add a little bit of variety in here and let's see what we have. Let's turn it on. There's a few different modes here. There's obviously an on mode, which just, you know, when you play the keys, the sequencer engages, but then there's a hold as well, which is nice when you're trying to actually come up with your sequence. You can just push the key down one time, obviously, and go and, you know, edit your sequence in real time. So you're not having to sit there and hold the key down. So that's nice. And again, um, while you do have six patterns, you can actually solo the patterns. So you can listen to just the one at a time if you want. Um, duration is, you know, whether you want the note to strike and end quickly, you know, do you want it to linger? Swing obviously is to introduce swing into the pattern. So let's leave it here and see what we have. Okay, that's pretty darn cool. I'm gonna take some of the reverb off because I kind of went heavy handed with that just to demonstrate it. But I love that pattern. That's actually really cool. And again, that's a happy accident, right? So let's, let's take the solo off that. Let's go to pattern two. And I don't know, let's just do something. Let's change this to maybe well, let's leave it 16 steps. Let's change the velocity to maybe do something different here. So, I don't know. Let's see. And maybe put a couple of big steps in there. And let's just kind of go wild with the pitch and see where it, we end up. All right. 
This is what the pattern sounds like by itself. And then if we combine that, let's get rid of some of that reverb so that we're not just creating a, a huge mess. So let's hear that again. Okay, now let's take the solo off and we're going to get pattern one and pattern two together. I mean, that's just cool. It actually sounds really good. And I didn't even, this were all just, I wasn't doing anything intentional. So that's really cool. That You can create some really cool, uh, again, happy accidents. And you can imagine, you know, we'll do it one more time just for fun. You can imagine if you do this across six patterns, you could introduce some just really random chaos. That could be good or it could be bad, but it's there for you to play with. All right, we're going to make this one a little bit simpler but we're going to do something kind of unusual and maybe, you know what, let's do on. Okay. There's a method to my madness here and then we'll go. Okay. Let's see what that pattern sounds like by itself. and combined with the other two. I mean, that's just cool. That's just really cool. And you also have the arpeggiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn, um, let me turn these off so we don't keep those on. Okay. We've got all that off. That's right. So let's go to the arpeggiator. And the arpeggiator is, of course, very similar. You have um, some of the same modes. You do have an additional mode, the hold plus. I'm just going to turn it on. You can control the octave range, how many octaves it's going to go across. Um, the duration and swing again, strike, how many times it's actually going to hit that note. So when you're playing, you know, how many times is it going to play that one? Of course, the order and the steps. Let's go back to 16. I, I'm... I'm going to keep this in four, four time. Let's go down to maybe eight this time, just to make it really simple. And we can change our rhythm. And I'm just going to hold down some chords and see what we get. So, I mean, really, really cool. You could just do a whole lot with this. Again, Bombay Glassware 2 is very much a boutique library. It's not something that you're going to pull out every day. You know, it's not a standard string library or what have you. But when you have it, you'll be glad that you do because it's going to really add some character to your tracks. Personally, I think I'm going to be using this in some tension tracks myself. Um, I think in gentle tension where you're just trying to create, you know, some really... Uh, gentle, you know, you don't want these driving tension tracks, but you just want something that introduces a little bit of drama into the moment. I think this is perfect for that. And I can imagine, especially these reverses, these with some heavy reverb and maybe even a little delay, you can create some awesome transitions. So I'm really looking forward to, to doing that. Thanks for checking out Bombay Glassware 2 with me today. So what do you think? Is this something you want to pick up? How would you imagine using it in your own tracks? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out samplelibrarywreview.com for more news and reviews, and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.